In Papua New Guinea, children are playing like they do anywhere in the world. But these kids are at high risk of a tropical skin disease that causes big ulcers. Yaws is caused by a bacterium that infects through wounds and scratches, usually on the legs. It doesn't kill, but if left untreated, it can destroy bone tissue and cause permanent pain and disfigurement. In May 2018, Martin Ensering traveled to Papua New Guinea. I went to meet a Spanish uh, doctor and scientist named Oriol Mitya. He spends most of his time on a tiny, very remote island named Lihir. And I wanted to learn more about his efforts to not just treat yours, but to wipe it from the face of the world. Lahir is very poor. Most people don't have running water or electricity. Medical care is rudimentary. When Mija arrived in Lahir in 2010, he was really surprised to see lots of cases of yours. He had never even heard of the disease, even though he was trained in tropical medicine. Until the 1950s, yaws was a huge global problem. There were as many as 50 million cases. Yaws bacteria thrive in hot, humid, poor, and rural regions. In 1954, the World Health Organization launched an ambitious campaign to eliminate the disease using penicillin. More than 50 million people received injections. Cases dropped by 95% but the job was never finished. So by the 1990s, yours was almost completely forgotten, uh, but the bacterium wasn't gone, and eventually it, it bounced back. What made eradication difficult was that infected people who no longer had symptoms often received no treatment. If they became sick again, they could infect others. The only way to prevent that would be to treat everyone, with or without symptoms. But penicillin injections are not ideal. If done unsafely, they can transmit blood-borne pathogens. They're also painful and cumbersome. Six years ago, Mitya found a solution in Lihir. Uh, he did a clinical study and, and showed that a single dose of a well-known antibiotic named azithromycin cures yours just as well as a penicillin injection. Azithromycin is cheap, safe, and easy to administer. Mitya's research has changed the way patients are treated. It's also revived the dream of yaws eradication. The World Health Organization said, this is great. Now we can eradicate yaws after all, because with this drug, it's fine to treat entire populations. On a neighboring island, Micha is working with the Papua New Guinea government to test this strategy. Seeing the researchers at work on this island uh, made me really appreciate just how daunting a study like this is. They're trying to reach 60,000 people in hundreds of remote villages, very poor area. And they're doing not just one, but three rounds, uh, six months apart. The hope, of course, is that this will make yours disappear. And um, if it works, the same strategy might be used to eradicate yours globally. But obstacles remain. Nobody knows how widespread yours is today. Only 14 countries report cases, but others may still have yours as well. An eradication could cost a billion dollars or more, and no one is offered to foot the bill. Some scientists even wonder whether we can ever fully eradicate yaws because the, the bacterium has also been found in some primate species. And uh, that raises the question, could it jump back to humans from those animal reservoirs? But one thing is clear. Mitya has put a forgotten disease back on the agenda. More people are getting treatment. Research on yaws is flourishing again. What struck me um, talking to people about yours is, is that the optimism of the 1950s seems to be back and maybe it's possible for them to finish this job after all. <laughs>